G'day, Jim Harnwell here from Fishing World Magazine. I'm here with Dave Silver from Lawrence and he's uh, tricked up Bark Rusher 560XS. Uh, Dave's got his um, boat fitted up with uh, no less than three HDS units. This is a HDS 10 and this particular unit's fitted up with uh, Structure Scan, which is Lawrence's new side and down imaging system. Just uh, run us through what Structure Scan can do, Dave. Well, what Structure Scan does, Jim, is it shoots out to the left and right, obviously, and also shoots straight down. Um, one particular place that I've been fishing for over 17 years in Lake Mawala and New South Wales waters. Um, I've always been running over this little snag, catching a few uh, Murray cod and away yep. we go. I ran the structure scan over a couple of weeks ago and uh, lo and behold mate, it's a uh, 79 foot paddle steamer. Really? That went down in 1929 to 1934 and is still sitting there and reasonably well intact. Um, so it'll be coming up on the screen shortly, we'll run you through it and show you what it is, but it's very exciting gear. So. With your, with your normal sound, you sort of th thought what, what was like a, a snag or a dead yeah, tree or something? Yeah. so what we'd normally see is your bottom would come up and you see a couple of little lumps. Yeah. You know, you think, oh, well, that's just a you know, lump of snags, a bit of timber down there, but it's actually timber, all right, but it's actually a paddle steamer. Jeez, that's amazing. Yeah. So what we have here now is we have a, a little bit of timber coming up. You can see how it casts a shadow. So you have your timber there. It all casts a shadow. But when this um, paddle steamer comes up, mate, it is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. And so it actually shoots a beam sideways? Yep, so if you have a look here, your range, that's your, your boat's in the centre of your screen. All right, and it's travelling down. Your range at the moment is 0 to 120. So 120 feet out? 120 feet out, yeah, that's correct. And here comes our paddle steamer. So um, he's sitting on the very edge of the, of the drop-off. Yep. And he's sitting down. So we can actually change views as well. So in this case, we can go view, and we'll go right only. And that'll give us a full screen view of, of what we've got happening. Wow. So we've got a bit of timber here. Here comes our paddle seam. Now when they sunk that paddle seam, it landed on a log and broke its back. So hence why we've got two parts. Yeah. And that, that's uh, identifiable as a boat, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. And what does it look like? Um, just Can you show so us what it looked like with just a normal sounding? On your normal sonar, what you would see <coughs> is that. Wow. Here's two little lumps. That's it. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Yep. And for a fishing perspective, um, structure scan can show you fish as well. Absolutely. Yes, I've uh, I've been lucky enough to take it up to Darwin on the barra, and I've seen actual, you know, quite good images of barra showing up as a you would expect a barra to look. And I guess with this range thing here, you, <coughs> if you see a fish out to your side, you know, it might be 50 feet well, the, out. The you good can... thing about that uh, is you can actually put your cursor out to it. If you have a look there, and I can actually mark a waypoint mm. on that curve. If I go into now, it'll put a waypoint number up there, 335. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So then stuff. I can come back to that with my normal sonar, and I can have a you know a small GPS section in the screen there as well to get straight back on top of it, troll straight over the top of it. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. No worries, Jim. Stay tuned, guys. We'll uh, we'll have some more stuff on Lawrence's um, HDS units and the, and the structure scan uh, in the magazine, and some more stuff on the website. See you on the water. Thank you.